Monsieur le Ministre, ladies and gentlemen, as the Chairwoman of Luxembourg, Eurocloud Luxembourg, and Vice, Vice President of Eurocloud Europe, I am proud and happy to be here in front of you to welcome you on the second day of our Congress here in Luxembourg. And I am even happier to tell you that we will uh, have our next Congress next year here in Luxembourg too. This year, again, our Congress, your Congress, has been able to attract up to 350 participants from all over the world, from Europe and from China and United States too. To exchange about the growth opportunities that cloud brings, but also dispute about the challenges we have to face to operate in cloud-friendly environment and the solutions we can bring together as a community to tackle those challenges. But allow me to tell you some words about women in ICT. Women in ICT, it's not just a high-sounding promise, but it's a reality. In EuroCloud countries, EuroCloud country members such a Poland with Anna, I don't know if she is here, no, <laughs> and Romania with Elena, and Netherlands with Alexandra, not to mention Luxembourg, are shared by women. And each association accounts for many prominent business women, engineers, and research who contribute to grow of our community. One of them is Rita Goffin. She is a general manager of Systemat and member of the board of EuroCloud Luxembourg. Rita, the floor is yours. Thank you. Wow, this is impressive. Monsieur le Ministre, Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, as member of the board of Eurocloud Luxembourg, I would like to warmly welcome every single of you to the fourth edition of our annual Eurocloud Euro Congress in Luxembourg. It is a real honor for me to stand here in front of you and open the second day of our annual conference, and I am anxious to listen to the fruitful discussions ahead of us. I assure you that the intense networking and sharing of expertise you'll be doing today and did yesterday will make you leave Luxembourg with the feeling of receive many opportunities to grow. I hope nevertheless that you will not leave Luxembourg before you had time to visit its beautiful city center that reflects a long European history. And by the way, it's also a nice place for shopping. As many of you must know by now, the EuroCloud network was built to represent the cloud industry's interests and facilitate the growth of cloud-based services across Europe. With more than 30 countries involved, each of them driven by cloud experts and strong local players, I can tell you that EuroCloud can make the difference. Why? Well, because EuroCloud brings together public officials, leaders, pioneers, major industry players, as well as top name speakers from industrial, government, and research fields. Just take a look around you today. It's amazing how we managed together from all around the world to make the leading edge of cloud innovation happen. I mentioned pioneers. Let me tell you that in terms of pioneering, Luxembourg is way ahead. And EuroCloud Luxembourg, with its 35 members, has engaged since its beginning with the government to create favorable conditions for the ICT sector in the Grand Duchy. Among great common achievements, I would mention the new law which gives additional guarantees to customers of a cloud service provider. The law on company failures helps keep the Grand Duchy ahead of the competition since Luxembourg is one of the first countries where, according to law, data remains with the original owner even in case of bankruptcy. This legal framework for the bankruptcy of cloud computing services fosters the attractiveness of Luxembourg for international investors since customers increasingly consider procedures around continuity and data security, crucial, and are ready to pay for that. 
This law is clearly the result on of an efficient consultation between the private and the public sectors. Another big achievement is the transfer early this year from Paris to Luxembourg of the headquarters of Eurocloud Europe, umbrella organization for more than 20 national trade groups. And here, in the name of the sector, I would like to warmly, welcome, uh, warmly thank the Luxembourg government, the Federal Business Federation and the Luxembourg Bankers Association among other partners whose supports have been instrumental. This move is perfectly in line with the willingness of Luxembourg government to promote Luxembourg as a top ICT hub at international level, especially in the fields of cloud computing and SaaS. EuroCloud Luxembourg objectives is now to pursue this effort and confirm Luxembourg's positioning as the European platform and the center of competence for e-business and thus help diversify Luxembourg economic landscape. Today, Luxembourg is hosting at least 20 data centers, including many Tier 4 certified ones, representing more than 40,000 square meters of net floor space. According to official data, there is more shared IT room availability in Luxembourg than in Brussels or Stockholm, which helps market Luxembourg as the cloud computing place, which attracts an increasing number of international firms who set up regional hubs in the Grand Duchy and use cloud-based IT from day one. It is also to be noted that the financial sector in Luxembourg is a large consumer of sophisticated ICT applications. It is worth mentioning that a specific cluster of competence has emerged around the handling of sensitive data in outsourced activities by financial institutions. There again, thanks to a close cooperation between public and private actors and a solid and innovative legal framework. The growth of the IT industry is due to the fact that Luxembourg has managed to create favorable framework conditions for the ICT industry, especially regarding infrastructures and connectivity. As a result, a number of large electronic service providers use Luxembourg as a hub for their activities in Europe. Many years ago, 100 years ago, I was working in the southern part of the USA, and one of my colleagues asked me where I was coming from, and I said, Luxembourg. And I looked at him and he was trying to find out where Luxembourg was located, you could tell. And then suddenly he says, Luxembourg, Luxembourg, do you have bathrooms over there? Not only have we bathrooms and showers, but we have clouds, the type of cloud that make me proud to work in Luxembourg. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your day.